Good afternoon. I wanted to look at the top Cruel Boys lists from LVO this past, or I guess a week ago at this point, right? So let's just have a quick look at the, what the top three lists actually, like who they were. So here we have at placed eighth, Jacob Brandon on bottom table bullies. So uh, I just interviewed Jacob this past Friday, so you should go check out that interview if you're interested. We, we go into depth on his list and talk about how to play it and the battle tactics and all that. Great interview. Jacob's a great guy. And then we have Austin T. Uh, T Mensch, above average generals, was another 5-0 Cruel Boys list. So, not sure uh, if he was playing like the shadow games or whatever, but so, and up third we have Brian Lofton on Harambe's Heroes with a 4 and 1 L uh, place at LVO. And don't forget, hey, this is like 350 some odd players. Okay, 343 players. So if you're like, hey man, I placed 26, it's like, that's really good. It's in the top 10%. So um, yeah, pretty good. So let's look at these lists here. Uh, so we're just going to go like this, boop. And then, so this is, uh, we'll start with Jacob Brandon's list from Bottom Table Bullies. So here we go. War Clans, Cruel Boys. So this is a Grid and Blades list with the grand strategy, Crump them All. Let me just pull up my other information here on the side. Da, 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 because I want to make sure that I'm getting everything correct. Okay, so Crump them All. You can only pick this grand strategy if your army includes Kragnos, Gobsprack, or Gordrak, so you can pick it if you're playing Gobsprack, which, let's be honest, all Crowboy lists are. When the battle ends, you complete this strategy if there are fewer than three enemy units on the battlefield. Uh, so, table your opponent. Right? Crump them all! And I think what Jacob was saying with this battle tact, or with this grand strategy, is that you're either losing and getting tabled, or you're tabling. Your army does a lot of damage, right? Uh, so, I'm Kalashama with Pockrat with Merciless Blizzard. Swap Kalashama with Pockrot with Sneaky Miasma. Sneaky Miasma, of course, can be used on Gobsprack and it can be used on Sludge Raker. And then we have a, a Snatch Boss on Sludge Raker Beast with Super Sneaky, Morkside, Pebble, and Weirden. For some reason, I thought this was Mountain when we talked about it in our um, in our interview. But Weirden is fine. I mean, I think that it's going to be good against uh, certain matchups that were bad against. Um, I always prefer Fasten, just so that you can position yourself for, for the wall better. But not that wall is going to be a big part of this, right? We have, we don't have a ton of stuff. You know, Gobsprack can kind of slap. But. And then we have Choking Mist on another Swamp Call Shaman with Pockrod. So the three spells, we have Blizzard, Sneaky Miasma, and Choking Mist. I think that's the way to go for sure. The only thing I've seen different is people throwing Choking Mist on, sorry, putting Blizzard on multiple Shamans. So this is a three Shaman list. So, you know, if you didn't want to go with three different spells, you could go with Merciless Blizzard on a couple of them. But I, I like this. I, uh, Choking Mist and Sneaky Miasma are the two most commonly used ones. You can, like, Choking Mist should be cast every single turn. It's just such a strong spell. And then Gobsprack has the rest of the lore, so he can... Like, it's pretty strong for you to cast Sneaky Miasma on a Gobsprack, and then for him to remove the wards with Nasty Hex. It's pretty good. Um... So this is a Gut Rip a Light list. Right now, with Cruel Boys, I'm either seeing like 40 Gut Rippers, or a minimum complement of Gut Rippers, or no Gut Rippers in a, um, uh, the other sub faction. It's escaping me now for some reason. Grid and Blades, big yellows. And then, of course, the uh, Hobgrad Slit is. Uh, so this is a minimum complement of Battle Line for a Grid and Blades unit. And then three times six Manskiver Bull Boys. And then Dagox Stab Lads. So when I was talking to Jacob about this, you know, he was saying that what your, you know, the Stab Lads and a unit of Hobgrods make a unit of Gut Rippers. So he was sort of like, well, I would rather have Hobgrods and Dagox than a third unit of Gut Rippers. And I get that, I get that argument. Because if you look, he's at 2,000 points exactly. So, and also in our discussion, he was saying how. Dagox stab lads Dagok that his um, it's like a last choice in the list right it's like well I want to run three times six bolt boys I want to run a minimum complement of battle line I want to run three shamans and then you know here's snatch a boss 
Um, and I want this natural boss to be the general, so it can't be the unnamed one, right? Swamp boss scum drug. It has to be the natural boss. And so I have 70 points left. And so it's either going to be endless spells or it's going to be another unit of, of bodies. So, and it's a two drop. So this is um, like a very control heavy crew boys list, right? This is to me like a sort of a mid ground between the, you know, the the gut rip it all in sort of 40 gut rip a list and the big yellers list because it is a grid and blades list that has 18 bull boys right and i when i look at this list i don't really feel like there's much that's being sacrificed i feel like this is a really clean list i'm a big fan of this list i like it exactly 2000 points right uh crump them all is probably better than wah here because your snatch a boss doesn't want to be like running across the board super early and you only have like these three very squishy units of battle line units so i get the argument for crump them all you could also go with wah but i think it's a little bit like wah is not the obvious choice in this list i think for sure but yeah really good list if you wanted to run something similar to this but you wanted to make the adjustments or make some adjustments i could see take out taking out dagox stab lads and instead putting in some endless spells maybe like you could do like geminids or you could do like pendulum and grave tide something like that but because you are you are a five cast list so i uh, i don't think that cruel boys really have a hard time casting spells like running out of spells to cast even in a five cast list because you know it's like well you're gonna cast Chokey mist every time you can you're gonna cast summon boggy mist every time you're gonna cast Sneaky Miasma pretty much every time. Like moving Gobsprecker on the board is, is pretty good. So then there's only two spells left. So, you know, you can do like a Mystic Shield and then, I don't know, maybe you do want to run instead of uh, running these feet. But again, another thing that I remember talking to Jacob was uh, Dagox is really good for Surround and Destroy. So at this point you're sort of debating like which which kind of uh, strategies you're gonna, you're gonna employ. But you should go check out that interview. Uh, it was really good. It was really fun talking to Jacob. Up next, we got uh, Austin Themench from Above Average Generals. So another Grid and Blades. This grand strategy is in and out, lads. You pick this grand strategy only if the model picked to be your general has the Crew Boy key keyword. When the battle ends, you complete this strategy if that general has not been slain and fewer than half of the units in your starting army have been destroyed. So again, it's, I mean, like, it... it I could see this being traded out with Crump em All and Crump em All being traded out for this because essentially what you're saying is I'm gonna I'm gonna kill my opponent, right? So if you're if you're tabling your opponent, then there's gonna be few units of theirs on the table, and if you're tabling your opponent, your general is gonna be alive and your units are gonna be alive. So they're 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 comparable, I would say. Indomitable Triumph. Okay. So Gobsprack here has the Black Pit, but that's kind of irrelevant, right? Um, here we have two Swamp Kala Shamans, one with Blizzard and Blizzard, right? So here we go, right? Here's like a, it's like I'm going to cast, like I have Blizzard available to me, so I'm going to cast Blizzard, right? It doesn't matter what angle you come at me, I'm, I'm going to be casting Blizzard. Because they can both also cast, so it's either Blizzard or it's um, Mystic Shield or Summon Boggy Mist, right? So you can think about it like that. It's like, it's either going to be Blizzard and one of those two spells or both of those spells. This is one, I, I was really hoping to get this uh, guy in for an interview because I was really fascinated by this kill the boss with stab grot. So um, you'll see here in a second why it's interesting. Snatch a boss on Sludge Raker Beast with Eagle Maniac, Amulet of Destiny, and Fasten. So this is way more of a uh, melee focused fighty list because down here you can see that we're running two times 20 gut rippers. So we're running 600 points worth of gut rippers, which is a huge chunk of the army and the kill boss stands in the middle, right? The kill boss stands in the middle. We're running an Amulet of Destiny here. And so Eagle Maniac, right? We can pass wounds off onto these Gut Rippers and then we can use the kill boss to make sure that we're not losing more than one during the Battleshock phase. This of course is um, because we are a command point heavy army in Cruel Boys. We have no real tricks of getting a bunch of command points, so. So we're just sort of making sure that uh, our general is able to stay alive here. Pass off wounds and has a six up ward, right? So, and then fast, and of course, it's just a good good choice. But I like, I wanna play this list. I think it's cool. I think it's cool. So again, we have two times 20 gut rippers, of course, with stickers and all that. Uh, unit of Hobgrot Slittas, and then two times six bull boys. 
and we are a relatively low drop here so the andorian acolytes is it it must just be both of the swamp collars yeah it's just both of the swamp collars and um wizard finders wizard finders is cool and it's both of the gut rippers so for those of you that can't remember like myself right now looking it up any unit in the wizard finders uh, battalion is able to add one attack if they're fighting against any wizard i'll read it here each time a unit in this battalion is picked to fight you can say that it will go on a wizard hunt if you do so pick one melee weapon profile on that unit's war scroll until the end of that phase add one to the attack characteristic of that melee weapon but all of the attacks that this unit makes in that phase must target an enemy wizard so there's lots of big wizards there's lots of big wizards that you can fight i'm sure that you can think of some but you know if you have 40 if you have 40 dice with gut rippers and you're adding plus one attack it's like you're adding 20 dice so that's going to be like you know three mortal wounds and if you throw uh, like if, if that's the turn if you're like this turn 20 gut rippers are going into some big wizard then you're able to throw like a poison on them and then suddenly you're throwing uh what is it 60 dice yeah you're throwing 60 dice and fives and sixes are mortals like you're dealing 20 mortals that's what's expected so i think it's pretty cool like i like it it's it's good um this is like a depending on like the meta right but if there's a bunch of croaks and there's a bunch of uh, like I, I can't even think of any off off the top of my head right now but i was i remember talking in the discord and asking people about big wizards and people were throwing out a bunch of things that were you know people were playing and that were scary so pretty cool and then yeah two times six bull boys um that are in a battle regiment so we're, we're we are relatively higher drop here and so you're really going to be uh, playing a different kind of game this list might be, this of all the cruel boys lists that i've seen this one is the most likely to survive a double turn right because you're going to be able to have that kill boss do the battle shocks and you're gonna right and then maybe a you know to get rid this can survive and retreat and rally and something right so it's not kind of not the end of the world the only thing i, I like the amulet of destiny on the art on the um, for the artifact the only thing that i could see being different is using an arcane tome on the kill boss with stab rot because then you're just going to use Mystic Shield every turn on one of the two units of Gut Rippers. Because the kill boss is probably standing in between, right? Within three of both of them. So I could see like an arcane, like an arcane um, tome on this list, uh, for this list here. But overall, yeah, very different list, right? Very different list. And, uh, but really good. I, uh, I'm a big fan. So let's see, list number three. So we got... Austin and this Brian Lofton. This was a four and one Cruel Boys player. Let's check out this list. Playing Grid and Blades again. So all in all in the top three were all Grid and Blades. Let's actually just So Chris Hall, this guy was a uh, three and two. Grid and Blades. Now oh, I'm just curious. Let's see. William Foster. Was, sorry, was this guy yeah, three and two big yellers so here's so we'll check out the just uh, just a big yellers list here just at the end just as a little bit of a bonus so grand strategy was wow. so three different lists three different grand strategies all grin and blades Let's see what we got here gobsprack break a boss on Meyer brute trogoth okay um no artifacts here so no fasten right so the biggest complaint that people have about the Meyer brute trogoth the break a boss is he's slow and he is slow so, uh, let's see. Snatch a boss on Sludge Ricker Beast, Egomaniac, Arcane Tome, Smellion. We also had three different mount traits. <laughs> so, Smellion is where you want, like, you're trying to get them stuck in. Let's see. Mount traits, Smellion. Uh, subtract one from hit rolls for text made with melee weapons that target this model if it has not made a charge move in the same turn. So, this is if you get charged, or this is if, you know, you charge, but then you're stuck in combat on the following turn. They get minus one to hit rolls. Yep. So that's fine. Kill a boss on Nash Tooth. So uh, Swamp Call a Shaman with Sneaky Miasma and Swamp Call a Shaman with Choking Mist. And I assume these two are going to be in the uh, Andorian Acolytes Battalion. So we're not a two drop list. And I can see here just by looking at this that we were a lot of drops. This is going to be a high drop list. Yep. Uh, so two reinforced unit of Gut Rippers two units of Hobgrot Slitters, two Beast Skewer Killbows, and Pendulum. And this is a two drop. No, this is more than a two drop. Yeah, this is like a lot. So 
I don't know, one, two, three, four, we're five drops. I'd have to look at this more closely, but if you're five drops, I don't know what the point of the two battle regs is. Not gonna lie. Unless this is all that you could do. So let's see, it's one star and two star. So we have a, so beast cure kill bows, okay. Yeah, I mean, let's see. Yeah, I'm not sure if there's anything else we could have really fit in. I'm not sure if we could fit in a wind, wizard finders battalion, but a wizard finders battalion, I think would have been the right way to go. So a hero with the wind's characteristics that's less than 10, so this guy can't, can't be it. Um, I don't think the Nash Tooth could be it either because he's got 10 wounds, I think. So, I mean, maybe that was all that you could take, and if that's all that you can take, then, you know, that's fine. Um, yeah, Killbows. I would love to talk to this player and see how those Killbows did because, you know, obviously they did pretty well. So this is our third rank, right? So this is this guy's rank, ranked 26th. So, I mean, the Killbows must have done something. So that's cool. Very different list. Very different list. Kill boss on Nash too. I mean, so I guess it's kind of the same idea, right? You have this kill boss that's gonna sort of stand in between these double or these two reinforced units of gut rippers to make sure that they actually get a chance to survive and do some stuff. Yep. Cool. I'm not sure. I would love to see how the break a boss worked. It seems to me like this is probably like a counter charge sort of unit where you're, you know, it's like you're gonna like slap back. I wonder how it how it turned out overall I would love to hear from this player because I'm sort of seeing like okay so you have 180 and then you have 10 leftovers so that's 190 and then you have an aether void pendulum so that's that's 100 or 230 so we have 230 points that we could kind of play with if we were gonna pull out this break of boss so that is uh, grave tide and uh, uh, vulture kill boss on vulture so I don't know. Interesting. I'd love to hear uh, how this list went and how it was played. So there it is. There's the top three. Very, very different. Let's have a quick look at a big yellers list. So here we have Wa. So this player placed like 115. So this is in the top half, right? But getting kind of down the list there. Uh, let's have a look here. Big yellers, grand strategy, Wa. Kill boss with stab grot. Oh, here we go. Kill boss with stab grot with super sneaky and morc side pebble. And Gobsbrack. And then, oh, here's an MSU Bull Boy list. What? Moon Clan Stabas. Moon Clan Stabas. And then Bull Boys, Bull Boys. Wow. Is this two drops? No. This is like a million drops. I don't understand. I if you're gonna if you're gonna be a million drops, uh, there's no point to this. Right? So we're one, two, three, four, five, six. We're six drops. So having these, like, I don't feel like it's really that helpful. MSU Bull Boys with Monster Killers. Is this just like a, for, a, for a laugh? Is this like a meme list? Like, just like what happens if I throw a whole bunch? One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Thirty bolt boys. Cool. I'm really glad I checked this list out. William Foster, let me know how it went, man. Give me a ring. Cool. Well, hope uh, hope this was helpful. I'm gonna do more on. I'm gonna do all of the armies and I don't know. I got it. I got a, a BCP sub, so <laughs> I caved. Okay, cool. Like, subscribe. Wow.